Hey everyone, here is how you change the oil in the M112 Mercedes V6 engine. Here are all the tools you'll need to complete this job, including an oil filter tool. You'll also want to have a floor jack, some jack stands, and an oil drain pan. To start with, go ahead and insert the 3 8 socket extension into the oil filter tool. Then locate the oil filter housing, which is on the top of the engine here. And once that tool is snug on top of it, you're going to loosen it with your ratchet. Now you'll want to go ahead and jack up the car, put the jack stands underneath it, and prepare to drain the old oil out. Go ahead and get your drain pan situated and locate the drain plug, which is on the passenger side of the oil pan under the car here. Then take your ratchet with the 13 millimeter socket and go ahead and break this drain plug loose. Once it's loose, you can just go ahead and hand thread it the rest of the way out and let the oil drain into the drain pan. At this stage, I like to fully remove the oil filter and go ahead and put the new one on. The filter on these is actually a cartridge style. It's held up in the top of the oil filter, but then there's also about five O-rings on the filter housing itself. The oil filter kit you get should have all of these O-rings in it, but you're going to want to use this pick tool to remove all the old O-rings and then toss those out. Here's what your new oil filter kit will look like. Here's the cartridge, and then here are the rubber O-rings that you get with the kit as well. You want to make sure to use some of the old oil that's drained out of the car to go ahead and lubricate these. You don't want to just have it dry because then it runs the risk of rolling or getting flattened and not making a good seal. And to put the cartridge on, you're just going to push it down onto the assembly here until it reaches the top of it. Now you can reinstall the filter on the engine. You'll want to hand tighten it as far as it goes and then put your oil filter tool back on and tighten it down with the ratchet. If your kit doesn't come with a drain plug washer, you're going to want to order a set like this one here. And now that the oil's just down to a trickle, you can go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. Again, with the washer on it, you're just going to hand tighten it as far as you can and then tighten it down with the ratchet. You'll want to go fairly tight on this because the washer is designed to be crushed to make a better seal, but don't overdo it. Now you can take out the jack stands and lower the car, and then you can remove the oil filler cap and start filling the car up with oil. This car takes 8.5 quarts of oil. Once I have about seven and a half quarts in, I like to go ahead and put the cap back on, then go inside and start the car, let the car run for about two or three minutes to circulate the oil. While the car's running, I like to go ahead and look underneath just to make sure that there aren't any oil drips. Then I'll go back in and shut the car off. Now you can check the level on the dipstick, wipe it first, and then put it back in and take it out again just to get an accurate reading. We can see in this case that the oil is about halfway between the two notches on the dipstick, so that indicates right at about seven and a half quarts in the engine. So now I'll add another quart just to get us up to eight and a half. Wait a couple minutes, check the dipstick again, and we are at the top of the dipstick on the oil level. Thank you for watching and make sure to stay tuned for the next video.